One of the most basic requirements of producing a good tremolo is to make small finger movements. The range of motion should be short, should be small. You don't want to see excessive follow through like that. You don't want to see clenching of the, when your thumb plays like that. Or the opposite thing is extending the fingers out when the thumb plays. Sometimes all of them will go out, sometimes just the A finger will suddenly shoot out there when the thumb plays. Don't want either one of those. You want to stay as close to the strings as possible. It should look more like this if we're playing on the second string. So range of motion. You're going, if you're playing the second string, you're following through only to about the third string. And they come back right in front of the string, lined up, ready to play again. That would be the ideal. Likewise, the thumb needs to make short movements. A very common thing we see is the thumb following through like that, and then when it has to play the next bass string, it swats at the string like that. So we're going swat, 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 swat. The idea is to prepare, and we'll talk more about this as we go along here, to prepare the thumb for what it's going to play next. It should anticipate the string it's going to play next. Just like that.